So this is a review of a Caesar Suite Forum Tower Suite. These are the older ones that generally are a little cheaper because they're dated looking. However, if you have a group or kids and you want to share space, this is the definite option to go. So I'm gonna cover the stuff, the room's a mess because we're leaving today that most of the other reviews don't. There is actually a desk with a plug, but I will tell you right now, do not expect to bring your computer or even your kid's gaming system because the Wi-Fi here just doesn't work. I mean, sorry Caesars, but we, none of us were ever able to connect the entire time. They charge you $14.95 for every extra device that logs on. We had to go downstairs and tell them to take those charges off since nobody could ever actually use the Wi-Fi. Also, I have AT&T. My cell service was pretty much non-existent in the room. So if you go outside downstairs, you can get 5G and Wi-Fi, but in the room, it's really tough. That part is, they need to fix that. Um, couches, it's a mess, but if you look at this, you'll see that just this one side right here is definitely big enough for a full-grown teenager and or adult to sleep on, as is this side. And this side actually underneath has a pull out bed. Um, none of us even bothered with it. We just slept on the couch, but if you need a full pull out bed, you got plenty of room. And I think Caesars anticipated people will be sleeping on the couches because those two big giant drawers are empty and you can use those to store all your stuff in. This is an empty thing. You'd have to request a fridge claiming you need medication. That's the typical hotel room hack to get a free fridge delivered to your room, or I think you can pay $30 a day. We barely touched the mini bar, but we still got charged for it. So try to keep kids and stuff off of the mini bar. Um, there is a ton of storage in these rooms. Each of the drawers, this is old furniture, so the drawers are actually very big. This is the king bedroom that comes with the forum suite. As you can see, weird, but plenty of more storage. There's this little couch thing here. There's actually a little, I'll try to see, show it to you. You see that little ottoman on the end of that chair there? If you put that on the end of this couch, you could yet actually create another sleeping area for somebody. Again, plenty more storage. The curtains are um, operated by electronic stuff. They work sometimes, sometimes not interesting little thing that's just kind of cool is that they have these huge ledges and so if you want to sit on them to take pictures and whatnot we're in 6211 they told us there was no view okay well that's a view of the strip in my opinion in vegas a view can be interpreted a lot of different ways but we were very pleased with this room because it's on the 62nd floor and playing high enough that we could actually see the strip, the mountains, the lights at night, that good stuff. So we were very happy with that. Um, huge walk-in closet with just tons of storage. I mean, this place, you could live in this place as an apartment. <laughs> there's a safe in here, but there's just a ton of space for everybody. Again, more dresser drawers. Little thing they do. In each room is a Keurig but no pods. So if you are wanting to have coffee in the morning, you need to go to CVS or Walgreens on your way in, which everybody who goes to Vegas knows you do that anyway. Um, make sure you get plenty of coffee pods. You'll be happy you had them. Two big sinks. We had two females and a teenage girl in here, and we were all easily able to share. This is the most ginormous, ridiculous hot tub ever in a hotel room. It absolutely works. The lights turn on and are different colors. It was clean. Um, one morning, watched the kids in it, my teenage daughter, because she's sometimes not the brightest bulb, poured herself a huge, huge, hot, hot bath, sat in it too long and overheated herself. Now, something about this, I gotta tell you, I've stayed in a lot of resorts, a lot of hotels, with fancy showers, this, totally wins and let me tell you why so older hotels especially older buildings have incredible water pressure because it was before california and everybody else passed all their laws i'm going to turn just one of these on i don't know if you can see how hard that is blowing and chasing but this thing has three different jet heads it is literally a huge amount of wet this thing is the most powerful 
three-way shower any of us have ever seen. We all absolutely loved it. We spent hours in it. I mean, I don't care if you're a super rich person with a really fancy house, you don't have that kind of water pressure for your waterfall shower head and your side jets. Nobody does anymore. So that's kind of the little perk of the room is that you get this hot tub and this incredible shower. Weird things that Caesars, for some reason, doesn't seem to care about, but if I was their liability attorney, I would. All of the headboards in all of the bedrooms are made of glass. Now, I'm sure this is some kind of shatterproof glass, maybe, but it's a little nerve wracking when people jump on a bed and, you know, you think about people slamming their heads back and possibly hitting their head on that or breaking it. But lots of mirrors of plenty of places to look at yourself. Um, plugs everywhere because it's an older hotel room. So the plugs all worked. Plenty of places to charge stuff. Oh no, this video is so jumpy. Um, big, huge table. Plenty of places to eat and bring food. And I'm going to talk about the food thing in a minute. Just really quickly. This is the adjoining room. Again, another big bathroom. Has a big giant closet. Separate toilet with its own door. In the master suite, the, the toilet door is glass. And it's not very private. Um, <laughs> as you can see, you have... Kids think that's fine. Two queen beds in here. Again, more storage. Another Keurig with no pods. So... Long story short, if you're coming to Vegas and you have a bunch of people and you want to share space and save some money, this is the room to go for. It really is because by my count, you can sleep two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people in this room and people would actually be comfortable. Um, quick little note, it is June after pandemic pretty much over here in Las Vegas. Caesars is struggling. You cannot reach anyone on the phone. You cannot get dinner reservations. The app doesn't work. They try to get you to do everything through the app. If you can't get Wi-Fi in your room, how are you supposed to be able to do that? Um, I'm a diamond guest here, which means I have a lot of extra privileges. The lines are insane. Plan on an hour and a half to get your coffee and breakfast in the morning or walking all the way down the strip to a McDonald's or something because you just can't get food here. While most of the restaurants are open, they are slammed. They have very limited service ability because they just don't have the workers here yet. Um, Caesars is doing that thing where they're opening the stuff that makes money, like the nightclubs are wide open, packed full of people. They had 2,000 people in Omnia the other night, but then when I went to the spa the next morning, they didn't have the spa open. They only would give you a massage, not let you use any of the actual spa amenities quote unquote, because of COVID. Well, what's really going on is they're short staffed in the spa apparently. And you know, that's, you just see a lot of that around. The food situation is tough. It's hard to get um, food here. I strongly encourage you to make all your reservations well in advance of coming here. Um, and just plan on being in lines. Today is a Tuesday. Um, there is a convention that just started today, but yesterday was Monday. I have never seen Las Vegas this packed on a Monday. It was wall-to-wall -wall people. It hasn't been like this for years before the pandemic. Um, and I think it's going to stay this way most of the summer, which is so great for Vegas because we all love Vegas. And I'm so happy that they're going to come back, but they are going to have some growing pains while that goes on. And so you're just going to have to pack a lot of patience along with some money. Um, prices are outrageous <laughs> as expected because they're having such a demand and such a surge that everything is expensive. We did order room service breakfast. It was $290. It was ridiculous. So, um, you know, just come knowing that and prepared for, you know, things being just a little bit crazy. Um, but we've had a great vacation. We came with teenagers. Um, we rented, that's the other thing for the pools and stuff, just so, cause they're all packed cause it's so hot. Um, you definitely want to try to rent a day bed or a cabana if you can afford it. Um, ahead of time. The earlier you book it, the cheaper it is. Typically, don't try to do a day of, you'll, you won't get one. But we had a great time. We had pool time. The kids shopped. Um, there's so many cool new experience things here. There's all kinds of VR stuff. There's all kinds of stuff at like Area 15, um, which is a new warehouse thing with all these cool fun things for teenagers and younger people to do. So it's 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 very doable for preteens and teens. I don't know how great it would be with little kids here. Um, somebody else would have to do that review. But 
we had a great time and unfortunately it's left this poor hotel room fairly messy we're trying to clean it up before we leave but uh great great sweet absolutely would rent here again even with the wi-fi issues um make sure you get yourself plenty of water and uh some coffee pods and you'll be happy as a clam thanks caesars